Welcome back. In this section, we will talk about resource appearance profile. So before we start, I'm going to select all the tasks in the Gantt chart and then assign all the resources from all the tasks in the Gantt chart. And we will just focus on the high roof and low roof in this session. I select the high roof and select the high roof tasks. I can hit the assign button to assign the resource to the tasks. And you can see the profile that we use in this case is install from here. And if I go to Navigator and go to Appearance Profiles panel, I will open the Appearance Profile panel at my left side. And to learn more details, I will actually go to the Help file and Search Profile. The first option, Appearance Profile, I click on it and zoom in. Resources can be assigned to tasks. However, if you've seen any 4D simulation, you tell that uh, not all the resources are assigned to tasks in the same way. For example, if you use the install profile, um, if you want to build some resource when you drag your focus time, before the task, there will be nothing. And during the task, the resource is highlighted. And after the task, the resource is there in this original color. If you use maintain profile before the tasks and after the tasks, the objects will be in its original color. And during the task, the resource is highlighted when it is worked on. Neutral profile doesn't change the appearance of the resource. If the resource is only assigned to tasks with neutral profile, it will never be visible. If it is assigned to tasks after an install or maintain, it will retain the existing color. So it is only used for informational purpose. If you use remove profile, before the tasks, it will be in its original color, and during the task, it's in orange, and after the task, the resource will be invisible. And if you use temporary profile, the resource will only be visible during the tasks. So we use temporary profile for construction equipment like the forklift and crawler crane, etc. And we use remove profiles for demolition projects, and we use maintain profile for renovation projects. Now let's go back to the appearance profiles panel. We have five system profiles listed here and we can choose to collapse or expand the system profiles. If I click install, I can customize the details from the bottom section, but I will actually first right click in the blank and create my own profile and call it test. I can use different profiles as its basic action. If it is based on install, I can now change the start appearance. It is not editable, but I can change the active appearance and end appearance. If I use maintain, I can change the start appearance and I can change the end appearance. If I change it to remove, I can change the start appearance, but I cannot change the end appearance. I will change it back to install and I can continue to customize more details of it. For example, I can change the color. I can change the transparency. I can check the box of transparency interpolation so that we'll start with totally transparent and gradually change or the other way. And I can give it a gross simulation if I want. So all these details, we will customize it later. And now we're going to assign the resource low roof to the task second floor low roof and make sure you use the profile test before you assign it. So you can make sure by going to the drop down list over here, or you can just uh, make sure you click on the test from the appearance profiles panel. I hit assign resources and now it's assigned. When I drag my focus time, it's green when the task is active and we will later change the color. So I go back to the active appearance and make it blue. And you can see now when the focus time is during the task, the color is blue and the high roof is still in install profile. So later we will talk about how to change the profile for the high roof. So for the low roof, we can continue and give it a transparency. In this case, I will check the transparency interpolation and give it a start transparency of 70%. Now, if I drag my focus time, I will see the color will gradually change from 70% transparency to totally opaque. I will actually uncheck the box 
and change its dark transparency to zero. And then I can give it a growth simulation, for example, from left to right. Please be noted here, the left and right is the direction of the visual indicator over here. So we have the top over here and right from this angle and left. So sometimes you may need to bring up this visual cube so that you have an understanding of the directions in the growth simulation. Okay. And I can also add it the end appearance. For example, I can give it a color and give it a transparency. So usually we use this when we have another task with this resource assigned to it with a different profile. And we don't want it to be temporarily back to its original color, which is confusing in terms of visual effect. For example, people might think it is done, but the object is actually not done yet. So we give it an end appearance and make it identical to the start appearance of the next task. So our next topic is how to change the appearance profile for a resource that is already assigned to a task. For example, in our previous practice, we have talked about the high roof. It is using the install profile. So if I drag my focus time, it is a gray when the task is active. Even though I change profile from here, it is still not changing the profile it is using. So to change it, I need to first go to task properties, resources, and select the resource, which is the high roof, and then change profile from over here, from install to test. And now if I press escape and drag my focus time along the timeline, you will see that both high roof and low roof are using the test profile. I can do it for multiple tasks. I select these two tasks and right click, select assign resources. And I change the appearance profile from test to remove. And now if I drag my focus time, I will see both resources are using the remove profile. Actually, I will select these tasks and right click select assign resources and change them back to test again. And then I will continue to go to the test and uh, change the end appearance to make it its actual color. And now let's drag my focus time to test. It works. Okay, as a bonus point, we will talk about an easier way to customize the function of the growth simulation direction. We can go to 3D Ribbon. We can go to the cutting planes X, Y, or Z to activate a cutting plane. Or you can go to the 3D View Properties Ribbon and go to Cutting Planes tab. And here you can right click in the blank and add to activate a cutting plane. So when you check the box in front of it, it's activated. You can change location of it, or you can rotate the cutting plane. Let's say I pause it over here and I select the cutting plane Click Use as Growth Direction, and you can uncheck the box in front of the cutting plane because it's not useful anymore. And you can see the direction of the cutting plane is copied and pasted automatically to the direction of the test profile. And when I drag my focus time, the slab will grow based on the direction of my cutting plane. And finally, I will change it back to left and right. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.